Good morning, everyone. Hey, I got a little bit of time um, before getting on the bus to go to the airport and fly to Spokane. So I'll be editing my native video, my simple video on the trip. Look at my new, new vlog. Like it. Thanks, Ray. Hello everyone, today is Wednesday, August 2nd, 2nd of August already. I am in Northern Idaho, I'm in Coeur d'Alene, this is how you pronounce it. <laughs> I've been hearing a lot of different pronunciations, it's fun. Not that I'm making fun of it, but it's, uh, the first time I heard it, I actually didn't understand because you know, obviously it's an English pronunciation of it. I've been having a blast so far. So the trip is only starting. So today we're gonna do a tour of Coeur d'Alene and then we're gonna go on a cruise on the lake. And tonight we're gonna be in Canada. It feels like a mini dream and, and or it's someone else's life. I don't know, it's crazy. I'm just so grateful I got this opportunity. It's amazing. Everybody is so nice and asking questions and all and just so great I'm learning a lot about different places from you know from people so it's a beautiful day it's gonna be 34 today no idea how much for a night is that we flew from St. Louis to Spokane and we had a layover in Denver and it was so smooth thank you guys it's a domestic flight and it wasn't that tough for me as a French uh, but Kayla got my boarding pass ready kind of before everyone so I was able to go through TSA uh, earlier like that you know if something was wrong or whatever I will have time so whew, that was great uh, that was less, less stressful for sure stressless I guess you can say uh, I'm ready so I think I'm gonna go out and I'll see you in a bit Indians, they now identify as the Coeur d'Alene tribe, and then around 1877, General Sherman of Civil War fame was out here looking for a base. You could easily go 15 plus million on that house now.
then it was lunch on our own and uh, I decided to just like wander around the city and I kind of went far away actually, I mean far away, by foot, you know, kind of far away but it was, it was a lot of fun, this is the best way I think to kind of discover a place is just to have no plans and be spontaneous and all that which I, you know, I really enjoyed The afternoon we did we did the cruise tour with, on the boat. So we were not even we didn't even leave the the, the the marina that I always already felt nauseous, you know. So I took some drama in, um, and then we we are off to the lake. I mean, the middle of the lake, and the tour was amazing, so beautiful. <laughs> I was even invited into the captain's cabin. <laughs> That's fun. He was with his uh, first something I forgot, but they were very nice and they kept asking me questions about like France and what do I think about the States and all that. Yeah, I mean it was cool. They were nice, and so I got my picture uh, in the cabin. <laughs> It was so cool and uh, so it was great to be able to see like how it drive the boat, to see the GPS live. I mean, maybe bored thing for you guys, but I just, I like it. So now that we're on the south side of Texas Hill, you can see it's 120 acres, but I can see a portion of the space in us, but it's 120 acres total set aside for the enjoyment of and the houses are beautiful and they are worth like millions. <laughs> It's kind of crazy, but it's a very beautiful area. Our lake is very, very, very beautiful. So after that, we went back on the bus and we uh, drove toward Canada. And the border and passing crossing was, well, 
obviously everyone on the bus uh, is American and I'm the only French. Yeah, so they took our passports. We, no, we filled up some papers and then they took our passports and they told us to stay on the bus. And I don't know, like five, 10 minutes later, they came back and officer uh, got on the bus and like, Mary, you come down, come out of the bus. Obviously I was the only one they asked to come out of the bus, very embarrassing. <laughs> but everyone's like, you go Mary, you don't worry, it's gonna be all right and all. And you know, it's not my first time crossing the Canadian border from the States and the first time was just terrible. So I was a little stressed out. So I went down the bus, police officer had my passport in it. He, he was very nice. He asked me some questions and he asked me a tricky question. He said like, oh, you've been to Canada last year. Like we know we've been to UK Canada last year. So he didn't uh, have the, the correct thing. Like, and I think it was a tricky question to see if I wasn't asking if I were to correct him. So I was like, no, I went to Toronto one day last year and then I came back to Canada this year and I went to Quebec City in Montreal. He was like, mm-hmm. And I understood that it was a tricky question and it, it was to see if I was, were to be honest with him, which, you know, obviously I'm gonna be honest. And so he asked, what do you do and all that. And then, you know, he didn't ask much about other stuff. And I think he was just, you know, checking, I guess. And then he was, he went like, so you've been to Quebec? Did you try poutine? And then it was super nice. I was like, make sure you get a window seat because what you're gonna see in Watertown, it's gonna be amazing. So I was like, oh, you went there? I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're having a conversation here, which, you know, is <laughs> a little weird. So then he gave me back my passport. And I was like, yeah, I gotta go. Very nice. I think his name was Steven. So Steven, shout out to you if you're watching this video. You're very nice and you make this border crossing you know, a nice memory, not like the first one. On that way, we saw elks, so that was, that was nice. And the ones were beautiful, especially, you know, like the sun was going down, so we were seeing uh, like the shades, shadows of the mountains, and it was just beautiful. So today's a beautiful day. We are going to Fort Steel, I think, to a guided tour. And then this afternoon, we're gonna go to the Water Waterton National Park, if I am saying that right. And April is gonna be really, really beautiful.